All right, we want to look at the special case for lenses. So just kind of like with the concave mirror, we have a special case with the, con the converging lens. So what's going to happen here is we're going to have that case where the object, it's placed between the converging lens and the focal point. So we have to take a little bit of care when we draw a ray diagram. So this question, it's uh, formatted a little differently, especially with the diagram. Don't worry too much about it. I may have uh, borrowed this from an old IB exam, so sorry IB, I kind of took your work on this one. So we have an object, it's shown to the right of a lens, and it's got a focal length of 5 centimeters, the lens. So we want to determine the location of the image and its characteristics. Now, we haven't explicitly marked in the focal points, but we're told that the focal length is 5 centimeters, we've got a ruler down here, so we can do that. So it looks like the lens is at 15 centimeters. So that's going to tell us we're going to have a focal point at 20 and our focal point on the other side, 10. So F, F. We just need those for reference. Now, this is a converging lens. We can easily draw two rays. So let's start with the easy ones. Let's start out with the first ray. So we're going to draw it parallel to the principal axis. It's a little hard to draw without the grids. So we're going to try and make it as parallel as possible. So we're going to have something that looks a bit like this. Now, once it gets to the center of the lens, we'd like to refract that such that it's passing through that focal point. No problem. Second ray, well, let's draw the one right through the optical center of the lens. Much easier to deal with. So, we're going to have the tip of the arrow. We have our optical center of the lens eh, right about there. So then we're going to just draw that light ray. Bada bing, bada boom. But, kind of like the special case with the concave mirror, our rays, they are diverging. This is not good. If they're diverging, we can't find a convergence point. So, you know, the odd student might say, well, there's no image that forms. No, that's only true when you are, and your object is at the focal point itself. So what we're gonna do with these rays is we're gonna take those refracted rays and we're gonna extend them backwards. So we're just going to extend this ray back this way a little bit. So we're just going to extend that back here. And then we're also going to do the same with this ray here. We're going to just extend it back. Because if we extend it back, we're going to eventually get a convergence point. Now, you'll see that the rays converge right about there. So this is going to be my point of convergence for the image. So then I could say something like, I don't know, we'll have something a little bit like this. You know, here's my image. So let's talk about this. So in terms of magnification, the image is certainly a lot bigger, so it's been enlarged. In terms of the attitude, its attitude is upright. The image is upright relative to the object itself. Now, for position, we have a grid here, so we could be more exact. I'm just going to pretend that that grid's not there, because, again, ray diagrams, they're, they're not the best for assessing accuracy of position, just because this assumes that I drew this par exactly parallel with the principal axis, which, you know, it's a little hard to do. So our position is going to be suspect, so I'm just going to say it's beyond the focal point. So it's beyond F. That's all I'm going to say. We'll deal with the exactness when we actually do the mathematics proper in the next video. So for the type, this time the image is on the same side of the object as the lens, and we see this extension of the refracted rays, these virtual rays that are converging. So this is going to be a virtual image. These special cases, these are the ones they really like to put on the diploma, so you got to be ready for those. But as long as, if you see your rays are diverging, extend them back to a point of convergence, and then do your image characteristics from there.